Rorty ho! We have arrived at Port Hedland. Great spot, yeah. Nice wide open plains, uh, flat ground, some really nice little uh, hills as you came on into. Some nice uh, land features. A few railway tracks, which has got me into that, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's known for some very long um, iron ore trains and things. So I've seen a couple of them already. We we're actually just across the road from a little shunting yard or something. So, um, oh, a little uh, a blooper there too. The um, We stayed at De Grey's River, and I said 67 k's to Port Hedland. Well, as far as Wikicamp said, it was 67 k's in a straight line, so 90 k's. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're down here at a free camp, which is down here at the Jockey Club free camp. It's um, you've got to be self-contained, toilets, uh, water, um, grey water. So uh, that's not far from town apparently, just to the right of me where the water tower is there. Um, there's some nice lookouts and um, view, I think, of the port. We're going to have a look. And then further down the end of the Jockey Club there is the, um, oh, there's the shopping centre down there. And then behind me there now is um, oh, there's a bit of a shunting yard and things, there's some trains going past. So we're here in Port Hedland. Looking forward to it. Might do two nights definitely, maybe an extra night. But we'll go and see what it's all about first. Alrighty, day two after a fabulous night last night, um, watching the uh, staircase to the moon. Um, it was uh, very impressive. And uh, today we're going to go for a bike ride. We're going to head down to have a look at the salt train and uh, then possibly go and do the, the beach um, up into the, the port and have a quick look there and see what's up. So call us crazy. It's getting close to midday and we finally get our butt together and uh, go for this bike ride. So plenty of water and might even get a bit of refreshments on the way. So uh, let's go and see what it's all about in Port Hedland. There we go. Port. Port Headland and their uh, salt factory. Salt producing. They produce it from over here. There's a few hectares of uh, salt plains and their stockpiles. Welcome to Dampier Salt Limited. And there we go. We've got the loader there, loading it into the, uh, the bulk truck there. Certainly a decent sized loader, won't take too many of those shovel loads to fill up one of those hoppers. Yeah. It's coming from those fields over there. Port Headland, there's lots of boats out there waiting to come in. And sand's totally different colour from Broome, it's uh, more the reddish colour what we had in Kalgoorlie. There we are down at uh, the Port Headland port, behind us there, one port boat is getting loaded up, hasn't uh, received anything yet, but they're all just slightly getting all ready. And uh, it's about, I'd say this. Could be over 10 odd boats down in that uh, wharf area. We're going to have a look. Pretty quiet little town. I guess everybody's all out here working. Gone, oh, it's hot and stay inside. They're all on different shifts and things like that. But nice cycle trails and they're even improving them. So doing a good job. There's a dome across the road. This is the top part of town, I guess. We'll have a little look around and see what we can find. Have a little nosy. Oh, we're down at the mouth of the river at Port Hedland. Looks like this uh, ore ship is about to take on some ore. I guess, looking at the one that's just left, 
that thing's about to sink all the way down to that black line once it takes it on. So uh, over there on the right there's a bunch of conveyor belts especially there on the right you see a, a spinning bucket that is um, that'll be digging into the stockpile of ore spinning it up onto the conveyor belt of the arm there and then um, I guess it'll go through the maze of conveyors which will send it to the ship sitting there in the middle of it. And looking out, that's the uh, ship. That was a cyclone here. That was just going out the uh, the markers with the tugs. So uh, it's well on the way now. Well, it's an early morning for us this morning. We're up um, about uh, half an hour before low, low tide. Um, we sort of go out a lot further than this um, compared with 80 mile, but um, I guess if you look at depth wise, it's gone down quite a lot. Distance wise, it hasn't. Um, but it's, or um, well, here at Port Headland, just down the beach by the uh, the water tower, which is, um, far walk from our um, campsite there's a water tower there um yeah dude, dude likes having a little walk along the, the beaches especially when there's little rock pools and critters and things like that to check out colors and crabs and um also what goes with that is the beautiful sunrise you're gonna lose me here but look at that the sun coming up moon going down and uh, we've got ships waiting out in the bay there. And uh, haven't seen any come and go yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure while we're down here we might see one come and go. But yeah, nice uh, wake up walk down here. I think it's called Cemetery Beach, an old ancient coral, coral bed or something like that. It's, it's um, a close relation between people and the, and the, um, the sea and the coral and things like that so we're enjoying it we might move on today um, we might it's a big big ride to where I want to go in Karajini tomorrow um, it's about 260 that might be ten miles not uh, Google <laughs> miles so yeah it's about 260 odd Ks um, to where I wanted these and then I've only got another hundred odd k's to go to the next one and we can park up and do it in little, little bites rather than try and smash it out so we'll get some supplies today um, and uh, take a leisurely drive On our way at last, just left um, the uh, supermarket actually, but uh, before, prior to that was the uh, free camp there at um, the Jockey Club. Highly recommended. Watch the noise though. <laughs> we, we're hoping to find a nice quiet spot, but we go from trains on tracks to road trains on road, so uh, yeah, I'm not, not counting the uh, chickens yet. But uh, just on our way out, I noticed a, a very big wheelbarrow. It's in a little place called Wedgefield. I think it's an industrial sort of subdivision sort of area, but yeah, imagine bloody walking that one around the place, eh? Get the job done in one barrel load. So um, yeah, goodbye to Port Headland and uh, hello to the Karajini area. So 
another one on our bucket list to have a look at. It's been a long, uh, long time waiting. We're on our way. So, um, yeah. Hey, Port Hedland, well worth the trip. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's um, a busy little town. What a spot, what a spot. We are um, about 110 k's um, shy of uh, Port Headland and we're going to make home here for the night. It's behind a rock. You might hear one or two trucks passing. We will hear them definitely tonight. But uh, behind the rock, it's uh, a good little uh, wiki camp spot um, that should um, break the noise of the, the trucks. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. This place is like an alien Mars landscape. Just rocks and, and wicked looking rocks around too. So we're gonna go a little bit of uh, sticky beaking and go and have a look at some of the rock formations that are around. So uh, yeah, so far I can't believe the main highway. Yeah, it's awesome. So uh, it should be really nice, especially for some night shots and things too. Go down to the rocks. Here's a beautiful shot of the sun going down of the hairdresser's mannequin. It's lovely with the sunset setting on it. And it's a really nice evening here at, I think it's called In The Rock. Another day, another adventure. In the rocks, great spot. Um, we didn't have a fire last night, we could have, but the stars were absolutely gorgeous. There was a little bit of uh, light pollution from a couple of the, the mines, and of course being close to the highway, um, we also uh, saw the massive big uh, truck lights coming past. 
So, uh, but all in all, beautiful night, nice cool night, um, not, not too many bugs about. So, um, yeah, in the rocks, it's my tick. It's a lovely spot. I could stay here for two or three days, but no, must move on. We're going down to Albert. We're going down to Albert Togolini, I think it is. Going to try our luck down there. I hear there's uh, you know, a little bit of uh, elevation, a little bit of views across the, uh, the, the vista of the, the landscape. So um, I think it's uh, about a hundred and something k's from here. So Jude's uh, cleaned out the wagon. We've uh, topped off with a little bit of extra water out of the trailer and uh, ready to make tracks.